Okay, let's look at um, JetBrains IntelliJ IDE. Okay, click um, download. I will download community editions. So, JetBrains runtime 11. About 500 megabytes. Okay. I already downloaded it. So, installation is straightforward. Just double click. Okay, next. Okay, um, that's fine. Next. Um, here I may click 64 bits launcher on my desktop. So if you like to have a shortcut, you may tick first one. Next. Okay, next. Again, uh, it will take a few minutes to install on your hard disk drive.
Okay, I will check um, launch IntelliJ, then finish. Okay, the first time I will take uh, for a while to launch IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, I don't want to import. Okay, uh, I confirm. Continue. Um, I will select light version. want to show you uh, what's available. Then, uh, okay, now start using IntelliJ IDEA. Again, it will take a uh, few seconds. So let's wait. Okay, create new project. Okay, I will select um, Java, version 11. Next. Okay, um, I think I will create sample, Java Hello World. Uh, this is project name, so it's a good idea to name it. And uh, have a look at project location as well. Okay, close. Let me enlarge it. Okay, I like to see actually projects. So, on the projects we have. source code called main. So that is actually main dot Java. And uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, six lines. Okay, IntelliJ ID Community Edition 2019.1.1. And uh, this is how you can learn, learn the projects, or you can use icon on your right hand side. Again, it will take a bit of a time at the beginning. You can see underneath there is a build. Once it's done, it's going to print it a hello world on the output window. Okay, here you go. Hello world. Okay. Um, before I finish, let me change some settings. Go to editors and then uh, let me look for font. That looks very small, so let me change to 16 font size. Again, you don't have to, um, because I like to demonstrate with a bigger font size. Okay. Look at the source code, it's slightly bigger, 
also uh, upper arrow world looks slightly bigger as well. So I will keep it this way. Again, uh, you can learn uh, main class. Some of you may know uh, you don't have to compile all the time because when you run the projects, if the, there is any changes, it will be uh, up to date. It means it will be saved, then compiled, then it will run um, main methods. I think that's all for um, IntelliJ installations. Okay, now let me just look at um, default directory under your username. IDEA projects, hello world, name of the, your projects, and then uh, you have a source code called main.java. So at least you know where it is.